love you guys. Shawty make that ass clap, she don't need no applause. High fashion, like go. It's your girl B, and I'm back with another video. So today for our video, we're gonna do a story time. Very funny story. Very, very funny story. But during the story time, I'm gonna be taking out my braids. Jump right into it before we get started with this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You know, show me some love down below. Make sure you smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe notification box. Let's get it. the time. My man threw my toy away. For those of you that are over the age of 21, <laughs> you should know what I'm talking about when I say a toy. It's way fresh. It's it's hot off the press. It just happened last week. Let me just rewind. Let me be, I have this friend. We just we spread the love. We give each other resources. We share information. Some of the information that we share pertains to us as women. Things that help us survive in this world as women. She gave me some insight on some things that she had purchased. And when I saw it, I was like, whoa, what is that? So I was like, okay, let me buy like a like a replica. You know, let me not go full-fledged because it was expensive. I wasn't trying to drop all that money. You know, I bought the, the, the replica and I was like, look, this is what I got and I got it for this price. And she was like, no, because it's not gonna feel like the real thing. It doesn't come close to what I'm trying to get you to buy. So I was like, all right, all right, all right, all right, cancel, 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 cancel. Might as well go ahead and just go all out. Go big or go home, literally, literally, okay? You know, I got it from like Adam and Eve. I don't know if I'm so sick, but so sick. But that's where I got it from. It said that I was gonna get like some free gifts. So I was like, okay. More bang for my buck, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, an extra gift for you and then an extra gift for him. So I'm like, oh shoot, it's like a three for one deal. And then it came and I just couldn't wait. I couldn't wait to see it. I opened it and it was like, whoa. The toy was like nine inches long, nine. It came with, you know, things that are on, on real people. Like real people. If your kid, if your kid just to hop off, hop off, off the video. It was just like real life. I was impressed and happy with my purchase. So you know, I showed it to my man. You know, I was like, look, babe, look at this. Like, wow. It's not like your toy, but like, look at it. Look at it. Isn't this cool? Because I already told him that I was gonna purchase it, and you know, he was kind of like, you know, not really saying much. Actually, able to see it, it was kind of like. Okay, like wow, she really ordered it. What is she about to do with this thing? I had to reassure him, assure them, this is not to replace you. This is just an addition because there's some nights you may fall asleep early, you might get put on the couch. And just because you're in trouble doesn't mean I'm in trouble. It doesn't mean we're both in trouble. You have to suffer the consequences for your actions. I don't have to suffer because of your actions. This is for me. And you know, if you're comfortable with it, we can make do. I can, I can create visuals. Hell, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So, some time went past. I was kind of scared. I didn't know the best way to go about playing with the toy. Just, just a little traumatized. Now, he was at work one day and I was like, you know what? I'm not scared. I'm not scared of this thing. Out of the box. And I'm gonna see what you're working with because we ain't got nothing but space, time, and opportunity. You know, I'll create like a visual. You know, I'll make it feel like I have support. So that's what I did. I felt like, you know, he appreciated it. And that was it. And we didn't discuss it further. I put it back in its place. Time goes by, time goes by. Recently, you know, I was just looking for it because we had moved and I, I hadn't used it. So I was just curious to know, where is this toy? Because I didn't move it. I remember where we moved it to in the new place. I'm in this closet. I'm pulling stuff out of the closet. I looked in the place that I thought it was five different times. I still couldn't find it. So I said, okay, you know what? I'm not, I'm not gonna trip because I wasn't even like going crazy. He had irritated me and I was like, you know, where this toy is? Because Ain't no telling. So, I was looking for the toy. I couldn't find it. I pulled everything out of the closet. I put everything back in the closet. 
and I went searching in areas that is not even supposed to be. I looked in the kids' room and back to the closet and I tore the closet up again because why are you not here? You know, we wasn't really talking like that. Like, like I said, he had irritated me. So I was really trying to give him that like silent treatment, you know, where they like talk to you and you'd be like, mm -hmm. yeah, like stop talking to me. I'm back. like cold shoulder, you know, like stop. you know me, then you know I talk. So me being silent is something wrong. I was like, you know, what you looking for? What you looking for? What you looking for? And I was like, something. And I kept looking. And I'm, I'm tearing stuff up, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm tearing up the house at this point. And I'm kind of getting irritated. Like, I'm getting a little heated, a little hot. And my armpits are starting to itch. Because like I said before, this was not a cheap toy. It was not cheap. Regardless of the fact of how many times I used it, it was not cheap and I needed it to be there when I needed it the most. So, you know, he's looking at me like, like I'm crazy, like my stuff, like I'm looking for it. So, can't find it and I just want to say, like, I just want to ask him so bad, have you seen it? Because I'm really trying to look for it, but I'm really trying to make it seem like I'm looking for something else because, you know, like. I'm trying to be a little low key about it and finally I just get irritated and I'm like have you seen it and I called the name of what it was <laughs> and I was like have you seen it and he was like mm -mm. Mm -mm. why are you lying like that right there, I was like, dang, he lied. <laughs> so immediately I was, I look, I look and I was like, mm, okay. So that let him know that I'm not, I'm not believing this because I didn't move it and the kids don't know where it is. So the only other pe person in the house is you and it didn't walk away. It didn't come with legs, unfortunately. So you are the victim, sir. So he's like, mm -mm. so then, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna accept it for what it is. I tried to make myself think like, you wasn't even that good. Like, you wasn't even that good. Like, you know how you break up with somebody and you be like, you wasn't even that good. That's what I was trying to do to myself. Like, you wasn't even that good. Mm -hmm. It was all right, but like, <laughs> but I know they ain't gonna well. So, you know, I go about my way and I mind my business and I, I go to myself. I get, a, I get alone to my room, to our room. And he come creeping in there, talking about something. Why are you looking for that? I don't, I don't even look at him. I'm just like, because I needed it. Like, I wanted it. I just wanted to see where it was. I couldn't remember, so I was trying to find it. And he was like, you need some. Y'all. He threw my toy away. Threw my toy away. So I said, I looked at him and I said, You threw it away. You threw my toy away. And he was like, I ain't touched that toy. I ain't touched that toy. So, anyway, moral of the story is, I didn't even get to take my hair out. But, moral of the story is, how did you do it? How did I? hide them you know unfortunately we can't allow our toys to be put in a safe place at this point so hide them don't tell them that you're about to hide because you just might wake up one day and you're one less toy now you just never know so yeah